What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, we actually came over here and expanded the farm out quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, we didn't have this, we didn't have this down here, or even this down here. And uh, we planted a bunch of, I think these are all peppers up here, I think we have a bunch of weed over here. And we have, uh, like, whatever the summer version of tulips is, I forgot what that is. <laughs> and then over there, as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, foraging crops finally done, so... Uh, right now, oh man, I forgot to fill up the watering can, whoops. Uh, right now, I might as well uh, water all these hacking crops. Unfortunately, we only have the regular watering can, so it's gonna take me a while, but remember, we are currently upgrading our uh, our axe, so we should be able to get a uh, really good, like, copper axe here pretty soon, and we'll be able to cut down all these trees, expand our farm out quite a bit, and maybe whenever we see it's about to rain, like, tomorrow, actually, you know what, I should probably check that right now. If it, if it starts raining, to oh, well, we can't do that because the axe is still being repaired right now, though, but I'll still check it anyways. Anyways, let's see, uh, oh, of course, looks like a storm is approaching, thunder and lightning is expected. Probably would have been a good day to go give them the, uh, the, the copper watering can, to, or, uh, you know, the regular watering can to turn into the copper watering can today, but whatever. Uh, let's look at the fortune teller today, and they're getting humor, okay, okay, good luck today. That's good. What about the Queen of Sauce, a rerun? Let's see what this is all about. Radish salad. There's nothing like fresh peppery radish. It reminds me of the late spring. My mother would slice up our fresh radishes and serve them on grainy bread with a little salt and pepper. Ah, those were the days. But I digress. Now, watch closely. You are... Oh, I already know how to make a radish salad. Okay, I thought... I don't remember reading that. Maybe it has a different description there, but either way, at least I've read through it. Yeah, see, we have trees blocking right there, but you know, hopefully here pretty soon we're going to have the uh, the copper axe. We'll be able to cut down trees a little bit faster, I assume, and then uh, also take less stamina, so that's going to be another perk as well. So that's definitely something I'm looking forward to, as well as whenever we have the heckin' copper watering can, we should be able to water, like, multiple crops at a time instead of just, like, one square at a time like I have to do right now. It's all manual, unfortunately. And speaking of watering crops, you guys remember uh, last episode, we also did uh, finish the summer crops bundle and for a reward we got that sprinkler up there which actually waters i don't know if you guys saw ah, yeah that was off i don't think i was recording at that point in time but uh whenever i was oh now i'm out of water speaking of water but it, it does water like in a big circle or a square around what the there you go. Around the actual sprinkler instead of just in a plus shape right there, which is good. This is definitely an improvement over the sprinkler that we made. I definitely want to make some of these if I can, so that's something I need to... Oh, wait, I didn't have to water that. Whoops. Uh, but that's definitely something I want to look forward to, as well as in the future, whenever I uh, expand the farm out quite a bit more. I do want to, you know, take into account sprinklers and stuff like that. That way we uh, actually use those sprinklers and not just have them in the, like, random places like that. Don't want to have all of our crops, like, next to each other like this, or else we can't use any sprinklers, right? Definitely want to make a little bit of room for sprinklers. Sprinklers. Leave a little bit of room for the sprinklers, but either way, uh, oh yeah, we do have a few crops over here. Yeah, seems like every day we have hops ready to go, which is great, and we have corn right there. Which, speaking of corn, you guys did say, hey, you know, one of the crops that you should plant for, uh, you know, summer and fall, and I don't know why I forgot about this, is corn, because corn grows during both seasons, so if I grow it now, I'll have to grow it again for, uh, for for fall and you know hopefully we'll get a bunch of corn that we can harvest during fall time and i don't have to like wait like half the month or anything like that for the corn to grow so that's definitely something i need to do uh for right now though i think we have everything over here watered except for these crops right here and then all of these foraging uh plants that need to be man i'm out of water again <laughs> i assume the copper water again also has more capacity as well so i have to fill it up quite as often or maybe maybe as like the same amount of uses or whatever it just that it kind of uh balances out with you know being able to water multiple crops at a time but I assume if I get the scythe or the sickle or whatever, I'm able to harvest multiple things at once. So, uh, I'm like, it's been a while since I've used this, so I forget. So, if I use this over here... Oh, wait, no, oh, yeah, because these are four. Yeah, you have to literally pick them up, yeah. I guess you can only use the sickle scythe thing on actual crops, huh? But either way, let's go over here, let's pick everything up. And I guess we could use a few of them. Uh, how long did it take, by the way, to get these? Because it only takes one grape, one sweet pea, one spice berry to get ten seeds. So it does make sense to actually use those to, to replant and get even more of them. And then we could just sell off some of the extras and get a little bit of money out of that. Oh yeah, and by the way, yeah, also at the end of last episode, we did place down a bunch of torches around our base as well. So that's something that's really good. I do want to keep doing that, light up our base quite a bit. We do have this big stump here, which I can't do anything about, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But what are you going to do about it, right? Uh, yeah, I, I guess we could turn a few of them into... Oh, by the way, golly, I'm almost out of energy. Jeez. Let's go get ourselves a little bit of... And then I guess what we could do is sell all of the, uh, the gold star, silver star crops down there. And then everything else... Oh, yeah, what am I doing right now, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, someone said to put hops inside of... I don't know if I'm able to do it right now. Or maybe I'm able to... Maybe, maybe I need to go to a specific area. 
But to put that inside of a <laughs> mayonnaise machine. Why do I have that? That's so random. Uh, what's it called? Like like a a tap or what? what, what oh, I forget to write it down here somewhere, but uh, something to make I guess like some sort of a beer or alcohol type thing. And maybe we could just go gift that to uh to Pam all the time and get a really good uh. Oh yeah, and then we need to make basic fertilizer. Yeah, we, we definitely need to do that. We have a lot of sap. I don't know why I keep forgetting to use that, you guys. You know what? Let, let's let's do that right now. Let's grab a bunch. Yeah, boom. There you go. Then we'll put up the uh. Hmm. I guess yeah. We'll, we'll put up that. Put up the regular corn. I don't. Oh, it's, it's it's actually growing up or glowing up here. Quality crops. Oh yeah, well it's the gold star corn. I don't know why. It was wanting the regular corn. Oh, oh, it's also a uh, part of fall crops. Ooh, okay. So I guess if we can keep one corn, we could put one up over here. There we go. Spice berries definitely want to keep that. Hops, grapes, and then I guess what we could do is yeah, let's just sell all these things over here. I guess we can go to Pierre's market. Market. Oh yeah, and then we have hot peppers. Let's go grab another amethyst. I wanted to do this yesterday, didn't I? And I completely forgot to do it. Shane, yeah, so we only gifted him one thing, and then we're in the work. Abigail, yeah, only gifted her one thing. So grab another amethyst. I wanted to do it yesterday, but uh, I, I guess I got, or last episode, but I guess completely distracted. Big surprise there, huh? <laughs> but I do want to, I, I do want to get some progress done with the, uh, the farm here before the end of the day. You know, planting more of those crops, and of course, using some of the sap to get fertilizer. Might need to go over to the, uh, to the spa real quick, though, just kind of re-energize myself a little bit, you know? And then I guess while I'm over there, I can go drop off that corn at the, uh, community center. But, real quick, let's go over here. I do want to sell some of the quality crops, get a little bit of money out of it, just see where we're going to go. Oh, it's Wednesday! I forgot about that, man! <laughs> oh, it's, uh, Sam's birthday, do we know? Because we missed Alex's birthday, like, three, three, four days ago or something like that. And I don't think we have a good relationship with Sam. Eh, one star, that's not too bad. That's actually more than I thought. I thought we had nothing. He does like, okay, he likes blueberries, so you know what? I think we might have an extra blueberry or so. I guess we can give him that and he'll like that. That'll be a pretty good, uh, and that's today, right? That's not tomorrow, that's today. Yeah, that's today, okay. And what is that uh, mission right here, though? Look for a super cucumber to serve on, what? Does that mean like silver star, gold star cucumber? Or is there literally like a giant cucumber you could grow <laughs> and give it to Evelyn? Like 750 dollars, that's a lot of money right there, but unfortunately I don't know how to do that mission, so that kind of sucks. But I guess we'll go back up here to the community center and maybe I'll make a quick pit stop by the uh, the spa, re-energize myself a little bit, and also look out for worms over here. Uh, but then also maybe go back to the base, or back to our farm, and then I guess we can get a singular blueberry to give to Sam, right? Uh, and I think it's crops, right? No, this is pantry. These are... Yeah, fall crop. Okay, here we go. So corn, let's put that there. Boom. We also need yam, pumpkin, and eggplant. I'm sure we're going to be able to grow those next season, but if we buy a bunch of... Uh, oh, yeah, then we can't... Yeah, I, uh, tomorrow, I'm definitely going to have to remember to go to Pierre, buy a bunch of corn crops, and I guess we could plant those. But where, though? Like, do I... Want, I still want to plant some of the foraging things, though, but... I don't know. I guess we'll still go. Yeah, you know what? Let's go up here. Let's go. Uh, and yeah, we could probably find Abigail over here, too, right? Because we've seen her over here and there's another sweet pea right there, which is good. So let's go up here. Let's go find Abigail. And I guess we can go to the Jojo Mart. Go find Shane. Give him another hot pepper. Continue getting really good relationship points with everyone around here. So that's good. I also got a comment saying, uh, what's her name? Oh, yeah. Here's a uh, what the? Oh, man. I guess Linus is able to do that. He sees like forging things. He just he's able to eat it. And you know what happened right there? He had a little symbol above his head that looked like he didn't like the grapes. So I guess that's a good thing right there. I, I I know he doesn't like grapes, and I didn't have to give him anything right there. Interesting stuff. Hmm. There's Maru right there. I don't know if... I, don't, I might give her some. I'll have to think about it, though. Uh, man, we have another uh, thing over here, though. I'll grab that. But let's go to the spa real quick. It's 2.30. Ah! That's not that, not that bad. It is going to rain tomorrow, though, so I do need to be very mindful. Because... You know, heck, I'm like, if anything, it's really good tomorrow that it's going to rain because it's going to water all my crops and we're going to have a lot of crops. So I might want to take advantage of that now that I think about it, but I can't go buy more seeds because Pierre is closed. So I guess the only thing I have to do, do now is just combine all of our foraging things together, get a foraging crops or uh, foraging seeds, get a bunch of uh, fertilizer going as well. And uh, am I able to do that while I'm in the spa re-energizing? I'm at like 44. No, it pauses right there, man. All right, well, let's, let's get ourselves a bunch of fertilizer. I don't know how much we... I think, yeah, didn't we have like 30 or something like that? So this is going to cost a lot. Uh, not really. I guess we'll just do this. There you go. So we have 30 right there. Maybe we'll get a little bit more. Yeah, I get another like, I don't know, like 10. So there you go. We have 40 fertilizer right there. And we still have a bunch of sap. Man. Again, we're going to get even more sap whenever our, our copper axe is done. We're able to cut down that giant forest that's grown inside of our farm. This is going to be great, you guys. But let's just re-energize ourselves real quick. 
I guess we'll head back to the farm. We'll find a blueberry. If Hopefully we... I don't know if we have any, but I, I feel like we either ate or maybe gave the blueberries to people. Because I think that one day I was trying to fish and I was like running out of energy and I was eating blueberries. I, 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 I feel like we don't have any blueberries back at the base, you guys. But I'll, I'll check, though. Let me just walk back to the farm and check real quick. All right, I'm back here. I might as well sell the uh, the items that I wanted to originally sell to Pierre. Just put it inside of here. I did get comments uh, reassuring me that yeah, selling things inside here, you get you get the same amount of money from this as you get from like selling to Pierre or selling to Willie or whoever else, you know. So that's good to know. I guess we'll just sell everything that's like gold star, silver star, and all that kind of stuff. Actually, now I think about it, uh, I don't think there. Uh, if there's quality crops for hops, I'll check. I don't know. Okay, it's not it's not pulsating right there. So that's, I'm I'm glad I checked right there though. So anyways, there you go. Uh, then we have a bunch of fertilizer here. I think uh, improves soil quality a little. Increases your chance. Hold on. Let me do this so it, it pauses the game. Uh, increases your chance to grow quality. Okay, mix into tilts. Okay, so we can't just do it right now. Oh, yeah, this is already tilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. And just, uh, and it, it does have like little black speckles there. So I do know that all that is fertilized. So that's good. And I think all the way down here, this should be all 30. And then we have an extra 10 fertilizer, which should be... Uh, then two more. Where am I going to put that? I guess here and here. So there we go. Uh, but we have 40 right there. Am I able to get, I, I'm surely able to get 40 of these, right? Two. Yeah, boom. 40 seeds right there. Wow. <laughs> all right. Let, let me just plant all these real quick, you guys. And I'm going to have to water them again as well. Uh, but hold on. Real, real quick though. Uh, oh yeah. I forgot I could do that. Yeah. Planting and, and, and fertilizing. Yeah. That, that, this is so much easier than having to water and also till the land. Boom. Already done. <laughs> Man, I can't wait until we get like sprinklers and, and upgrade watering cans and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be great, you guys. I guess I could put the uh, the extra foraging things up here, though, and I can make more stuff later. Or just, you know, gift it to people or whatever else. But hot pepper, I do need to still use that. And then, uh, is there... Yeah, we have a blueberry. Oh, my gosh. We still have a blueberry. Now, where is... Where, do, where does Sam hang out at? I think we've seen him at the beach before, but where does he live? Okay, he, he lives there at that blue house down like south of the town so that's good to know let's see if we can still find abigail still need to find her give her the hand with this and did we uh did we go up here yet i don't know if we did i feel okay i think we did uh but well, let's go over there and joe jamar uh, what, what time is that place close uh 11 p.m okay well i, I know say or uh shane gets off of work before the actual place closes like i've seen him get off of work like way before 11 p.m so i'm sure we can still find him like right now i just don't know where to find abigail right now though unfortunately so I don't know. And then there's Alex right there. Upset that I didn't give him a birthday gift. Nope. Okay, thankfully you didn't see that. <laughs> I like how sneaky you have to be over here. I'm like, oh, hey, uh, Abigail, or, uh, is this, it? yeah, this is Abigail. Uh, yep, there you go. I seriously love this. You're the best waffle. Hey, no problemo. Hopefully we have a better relationship points with, oh, and by the way, let, let's just casually chat to her as well and talk to Elliot. Must be satisfying to follow, follow your crops from seed to harvest. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. I like it. It, 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 it is very rewarding to know that we successfully grow things and I'm, I'm, I'm providing to the community and, and their community is providing to me by giving me money and whatnot, right? <laughs> it's, as if, uh, it's as if your essence is infused into the fruit. That's an interesting way to think about it right there. I like that. And Abigail over here visiting someone, I don't know who. Have you decorated your house at all? That's what I'd uh, be doing if I had a house. Well, wait, don't you have a... Oh, I guess if anything, you live at like Pierre's shop or something like that, right? So I, I guess she has a point. <laughs> But I do want to go over to Joe Mart now. We got the bro broken CD right there. I think we put more bait inside there if I got off the fishing pole. And there's Clint. I don't know if Shane, he might be off work. He might be heading towards the saloon right now. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to check anyways. I don't see him walking around. Is he in here? Yeah, they're still open. Uh, I usually see him by now. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing him right now. I assume if he's not here, he's going to be either in the saloon or walking towards the saloon or something. I'm like, it's Wednesday right now. That's a little weird to be. I don't know. Do we see him there every day, though? I feel like we don't. Like, maybe maybe you only ever see him when they're like on Fridays or something. Oop. What trash right there just hopped out of the trash can and like magnetized towards me. Did you see that? That was crazy. Oh, there he is right there. Perfect. Okay, so give you a hot pepper randomly again. Oh, well, Waffle, how'd you know? This is my favorite. I'm like, I answered you last time. Oh, yeah, didn't I said I wanted to give someone with, like, blue hair a blueberry because, oh, you know, blue hair, blueberry. Maybe they like it. But I need to give this blueberry to Sam. And I think he's at the beach. We've seen him at the beach before, I think, un unless I'm thinking about someone else. Man. Oh, wait, I think we've also seen him over here. Hold on. Pretty sure we've seen him, like, outside of his house. 
before, like talking to uh, what who Sebastian or something like that. Oh, he's not here though, man. All right, well, I guess we'll go over to the beach and go check real quick, though. And if we find Haley, you, we have trash. We have a broken CD. <laughs> we have plenty of presents for her, unless we've already given her both the presents for this week, which I wouldn't be too surprised. And yeah, we need to forge at the beach as well. Get some really good shells and whatnot, right? So where is he? Is he here? Ah, he's not here, is he? Yeah. If he was here, I, I'm pretty sure we'd see him by now, but yeah. I wish I knew where he was hanging out. And there's Clint right there hanging out at 9 p.m. fishing. Nah, I don't blame him, actually. I don't think about it. Uh, but oh, yeah, what is this, though? Hold on. Like that looked like something right there. I thought that was something, but I guess not. But let's, let's try and find some, like, corals and stuff. Like that. Oh, worms! Find some corals and whatever else. Hopefully get some, uh... Gold ore! Three of those right there? Don't mind if I do. Hate them, man! What do we have? Four? We can almost make an ingot now, guys. That's really good. We have a sea urchin right there, but unfortunately no actual... Like, like, red corals and stuff like that. Uh, is that sea urchin? Oh, it's a gold star, though. That's not bad. Let's go and get us some good money. It'd be really good if we get the gold, uh... What's it called? The rainbow seashell or whatever it's called as well but now I guess we can't get that unfortunately so that sucks but yeah, oh yeah wasn't it last episode that I, I fished over by that big rock or something like that people did say that fishing by that big rock for some reason makes it where you have like a higher likelihood of getting your your, your bait like nibbled on I guess you could describe it as <laughs> so I don't know that sounds like it can get demonetized by saying that but I'm, I'm talking about fishing over here YouTube golly <laughs> but uh like, that, that gives you the same effect as, like, the whirlpool that we've had, which is really interesting. I don't know. Can I go inside this? It might be closed right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 8 p.m. <laughs> you know, not to go and let me inside there, unfortunately. That sucks. Ah, oh, man. I don't know where that guy hangs out at, though. Unless I d literally is at the beach and I just missed him right there. There's Shane. There's Mar 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 Marnie, I think. And there's the blue. I, I guess I'll give her the blueberry, but, man, I'm missing another person's second birthday, unfortunately. So that sucks. Uh, I could probably buy, no, buy more beer and give it to Pam like I have in the past, right? Thanks! Well, it sounds like she liked that, so that's good. Good evening, can I get you anything? Uh, I guess not, okay. Sai, hey kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. <laughs> How old am I supposed to be, by the way? Am I not an adult? Or, I, I guess maybe not. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, I, like, I can't give anything to anyone else. It seems like that Emily, or whatever her name was, did like the blueberry, which is- Oh, what in <laughs> Why am I fishing in the middle here? That makes no sense. Oh, yeah, I need to water all my crops before it's like 2 a.m. Oh, yeah, it's midnight right now. I need to do that like right now, you guys. I need to hurry up. Golly, I've been looking around for Sam. Didn't find him at all. Missed his birthday. Missed Alex's birthday as well. Ah, this is so bad. Oh, wow, look at this. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I lit up the, the bait. Like, for a second there, I was like, oh, man, it's like daytime over here for some reason. But no, it's because we lit up this area so much. And yeah... Because we, we put all the crops together here, you can see there's like a lot of dark spots here, like right here, and especially in the middle bit right there. I'm like, I can't place torches there, or else, uh, like, 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 I can't place a crop there either, or anything like that, right? So, I, I, I have to think about torch placement, sprinkler pl placement, whatever I think about, like, expanding the farm out more seriously. So, unfortunately, we kind of hecked that up, so, whatever. Oh! Oh, it's 1 a.m. right now. I need to be very careful, you guys. We have almost no water, so I need to watch out. Only a few more slots, so we should be able to do this. It's only one something a.m. right now. And I do want to go put the, uh, the gold sea urchin up inside the thing, sell that overnight. Get a little bit of money out of that. And it's going to rain overnight as well. And I think it's t it's maybe tomorrow we're going to get the uh, the shrimp. Hold on. Maybe tomorrow we're going to get the, uh, what do you call it? The, 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 the axe. Maybe the axe is going to be done, huh? Either way, I'm in a huge heckin' rush right now. I need to go, 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 go. Let's go, Hater. Let's go. <gasps> go. Go to bed. Yes, go to sleep for the night. Golly, what time was it? Like 130, 140 or something like that right there? Golly. <laughs> Anyways, level four farming. Look at this. We're getting some really good uh, progress here, you guys. We we leveled up farming, I think, yesterday, and we leveled it up again today. That's really good, you guys. Wow. Watering can proficiency up and hoe proficiency up. That's great. New crafting recipe for the iron fence. Haven't even built regular fence yet, so. I'm like, I built, I built a fence like on the first episode of uh, Monster Harvest. Haven't built a fence in like episode 20-something of uh, Stardew Valley. <laughs> I'm like, it seems like we don't really need one, though, right? Either way, uh, I'm like, it seems like we didn't need the scarecrow either, but I built it anyway, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a fence. But that's a lot of iron. I'm sure it's going to cost a lot of iron to make that. Either way, new craft recipe for the preserves jar. What do we could use that for? Maybe use blueberries, put that inside there. If I had any extra strawberries, I'm sure I could make some uh, preserves out of that as well. And any other uh, stuff, fruit stuff like that, huh? And then basic retaining soil, so I could actually use that now. Uh, or actually make that now. Level 5 forging as well. Choose a profession. Okay, so if he if we hit a level five 
on anything. We get to choose like a profession path. And it gives you like a buff, like forester, trees drop 25% more wood or gatherer. Chance for double harvest of double or uh, foraged items. I feel like I'm like forester. That's that's going to be perfect because we have the the upgraded axe like on the way, if not already done today. So, man, the gatherer, though, I feel like we can get a lot of money on that. Like, like, especially when I'm growing a bunch of forging th things at my uh, my farm here and I have a chance of getting double harvest from them. I feel like this, I feel like gatherer definitely fits me more. I've, I've used that way more often. I hardly heck can cut down trees, but I'm about to cut down a bunch of trees. So I don't know. Do, do I want to switch over to it now? And how often do I cut down trees? Right. Versus how often do I forge? I forge literally every single day. And I, I, I forget if seashells. I don't know if that counts as forging items. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to do gatherer. I'm probably going to get a bunch of comments saying, oh, you should have done a uh, lumberjack or whatever the other one was for the for the what, what the we got a thousand dollars from the foraging items right there. No wonder we got the heck an upgrade there. Golly farming right there. We got uh wait, why do we how come some of these are forging and some of these are farming like spice berry sweet peas? OK, yeah, those are foraging, but why the grape those are foraging, too, and it counts as farming. I don't know what's going on there, but 120 from each gold uh, grape silver grape hundred. Gold uh, hot pepper is 60, silver star uh, hops is 31, and then 39 for the gold star hops. I might as well just keep the hops at that point, right? Maybe use that for some sort of recipe or give it to Pam. Maybe Pam likes raw hops. <laughs> I, I kind of want to gift that to her now just to see if she likes it. And then forging, we got silver star spice berry, 100 really good money there. Uh, four gold star spice berries for 120 a piece. That's a lot of money right there. Wow. I didn't think the spice berries were that much. And then uh, sweet peas, four silver stars for 62 a piece. Not bad. Gold sea urchin, though. Yeah. I thought it wasn't really that much money, but yeah, it's 240. That's really good. And then 50 for the random clam right there and total $1,646 reduce overnight. Don't mind if I do. Anyways, let's start day 18 of summer, year one. With uh, thirty-seven hundred dollars, your hey, look at that. That's what I was saying. The copper axe is ready. Saw it on the bottom left corner right there, and I can already hear it's raining outside. Now, is it going to rain again tomorrow? Yes. So, I feel like today it, I, we have the money. The blacksmith is free today. It's going to rain tomorrow. Is it going to continue to rain the day after tomorrow though? I don't know. Hopefully, I, 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 I'll give it to him anyways. Because I'm like, if we don't have a watering can, we can't water any of our crops. Man, my dog is blocking the way. <laughs> if we don't have a watering can, we can't water all of our crops. And, you know, midway through the, the thing right now, it, it, it's kind of dangerous if I don't water any of my crops, right? So I'm going to do it. And I don't know why I still have the sickle in my inventory, by the way. I still have hot peppers, though. Maybe, maybe I'll give that to someone. Oh, yeah, well, I was saying earlier, someone... Get out of the way, dog! What are you doing? <laughs> well, someone was saying that uh, Pen Penny, I think her name was, likes uh, poppies. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. And then another day, more uh, harvest of hops right there. So that's good. And what is this, by the way? Oh, yeah, tomatoes. And th these are our melons here. And then we have random peppers right there that are done. I don't know how they're done, but I'm not complaining. And I think that's it. I don't think anything else over here is uh, ready to go. And the watering can. Ah, uh, water. I'll, I'll fill it up real quick, though. Yep, there. Yep. And then we can go. Yeah, we can go buy more seeds. We can buy a bunch of corn crops from uh, from Pierre now. Now that he's. Uh... Oh, wow. All of the. Oh, well, this one wasn't gold star, though. Uh, put the watering can up there. Yep. Then the hops. I'm like, I, I guess I'll give uh, Pam just a regular one just to see what she thinks about it. And then, yeah, I guess I'll sell the gold. Uh, I don't know. Why, why did I keep that, though? And then sweet. Yeah, why do I have these? Gold star parsnip. I did get comments from you guys saying uh, that I do need to sell all the stuff from spring because it's not spring anymore and it's kind of useless. It's, it's literally just money sitting inside of my uh, inside inside of my thing right there. So I'm, I, 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 I'm definitely going to have to try and... Oh, worms! I'm going to have to try and sell all the stuff that I sell. Oh, wow, random copper right there. Try and sell all that, at least the, the, the gold and silver star stuff like that. The other ones, though, I kind of want to keep them and, and just make them into foraging uh, seeds and stuff like that. You know, at, at the beginning, like spring, having a bunch of foraging seeds that I can just plant immediately. That, that sounds really powerful, you know? So I, I kind of want to keep them at least for that purpose. And maybe I'll just make them into a uh, locked. Oh, yeah, 9 a.m. Golly. Maybe, oh, I didn't check the luck today. Whoops. But maybe I'll craft them into actual uh, seeds, just to kind of take up a lot less inventory space, you know? 
uh, over at the, at the green chest that I have over there. But let's go check him on the blacksmith. I forget when he opens. It's probably also 9 a.m., but I'll check him on him anyways. And then uh, I don't know if, what time the bar opens, like 4 p.m. or something like that. We'll have to check that. <laughs> See if Pam's over there. She might be over at Jojo. Yeah, 9 a.m. right there, unfortunately. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, yeah, we can go to the museum here, though, right? I, I think we found a book last episode. So let's, let's go inside of the book or go inside of the library. What are we going to the reading rainbow and literally going inside of a book? What time's the, uh, I need to check what the hours are on this place, you guys. It's kind of crazy. Let's see. It's on this shelf, or is it this shelf? Uh, I guess it's this one. An old farmer's journal. I've been here for a year now, and I've started to make friends with the local townspeople. It sure feels great. And they're sending me gifts and secret family recipes in the mail, too. That's really helpful. Sounds familiar. I'm like, we're getting recipes from, from Shane for, like, the pop pepper popper things, and... I think we got recipes from someone else as well, and of course we're getting gifts like that. And we got gift literally yesterday. I think we got a gift from our mom for like 500 uh, gold. So I don't know. Did I drop that note, or maybe maybe someone else in town before me? Maybe, maybe my grandpa dropped that note. And people are treating my grandpa the same way they treated me, and I think that's Penny down there. But unfortunately, I don't have any poppies. So, anyways, I'm standing right outside a heckin' blacksmith place right here, like outside of the Apple Store on new iPhone day, right? Whoops. Right, let's, let's talk to him and get our... There we go! Hey! Got our new Copper Axe! You received the Copper Axe. Eh, thanks. I didn't know. <laughs> but now that we have the Copper Axe actually upgraded, let's go to upgrade tools. Let's upgrade our... Uh... Oh, I didn't get the... Oh, I need to go get the bars. I forgot about you guys. Whoops. Man. But, okay, it's only five and then $2,000. Uh, yeah, so it still requires that. So I'm not able to do it, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's not... Am I able to do it? I don't have the bars in my inventory, though. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I do need the actual bars. So let's go back to the base. I don't know why I don't have those right now, but whatever. Let's go back to the base, go grab five copper bars. At least we already have them smelted. We already pre-smelted them uh, pretty recently. And then there's Shane again. I don't think we can give him another thing. It's already been... Yeah, I've already given Shane two items this week. So yeah, can't give him another pepper, unfortunately. So that sucks. Definitely want to go give that to other people, though. Maybe, maybe I'll give a pepper to Penny. Just because... Oh, wait, what in the world? Wait, who's that? Didn't we just see Penny and now she's... What? No, this is Robin. Whoops. Hey, Robin. Like, Okay, Robin likes peppers as well. Thanks. It's a really nice gift. I guess she likes spicy stuff as well. So, I, I did, I'm like, I thought she was Penny at first, but uh, still need to give a pup. Still need to give a pepper to Penny. Golly, these alliteration things are really getting out of hand. <laughs> but let's go back to the base over here. Or to the... God, you guys know what I mean. Uh, let's go back to the farm over here. And let's go get our five copper ores. And then... Oh, yeah, didn't we have the gold over here? Can we just smelt that? I, I forget if it's four, if it's three, or uh, or four, if it's five. I forget, but let, let's see if we can actually smelt that over here while all that's going on, because I know the silver took a long time, or the iron. Oh, yeah, it requires four. Okay, or five. I have four. Stop blocking the doorway, dog. Jeez. I forgot what his name was. Wasn't it Zongus or some meme? <laughs> I think it was. Hold on. Uh, I need to reorganize my inventory real quick, so let's put the axe, like, there. That's fine. And then uh, I, I guess I'll sell all these things. I wanted to sell them anyways. I was going to Pierre's shop, but he's closed, so I couldn't do that yet. But I'll go there right now, though. Thankfully, all these things are already uh, going. But I do want to go over to uh, the blacksmith, get him started on my watering can. And we already know tomorrow it's raining as well. And we have the money. We have the $2,000. So pff, it only makes sense to finally upgrade that watering can. And hey, maybe I could actually finally be able to catch up with all the heckin' crops we have right now. Because it's taking forever for me to water all my crops with just a singular watering can, unfortunately, right? Uh, no, no, no notices on the bulletin board right now. And then the calendar. I don't think anything's happening today. Oh, then it's Demetrius's birthday tomorrow. I don't know what he likes. Oh, wait, what in the world is this? Abigail's playing on her SNES and she's like playing Zelda, it looks like there. <laughs> what happened? Did she get killed? She ran out of lies. Whoa, what are you doing in my room? Waffle? Yeah, what am I doing in her room? Is this like illegal? Oh my god, look at her wallpaper with, with all the fish and stuff like that. That's crazy. She's got like Subnautica in her room. Waffle. Oh, she's got a little... Was that a mouse there as well? I think so. She's got a little pet there. You scared me sneaking into my room like that. I'm like, I didn't mean to. I wanted to go to Pierre's shop and then I just kind of appeared inside of here. <laughs> so I've been playing Journey to the Prairie King for hours and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Well, you want me to help you? Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Huh. Give, let me give it a shot. I mean, it looks suspiciously like Zelda right there. Like the original one. Which is kind of weird because she's on SNES, but still. Oh, wait, what in the world? Yeah, well, look at this. I guess this isn't Zelda. This literally looked like the game we just saw a minute ago, so shoot. 
Hold on. Am I shooting right there? How do I... Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh my gosh. Here we go, here we go. Okay, shooting all the bad guys here. Two player with, with Abigail. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, oh, she's dead! Ah! Man, okay, let, let, let's avenge her death. All right, all right. Let's get him. Let's get him, Hata. We just have to get past the first level here. And then we've, we've helped out Abigail. Let me get that cursor off the screen. Okay, okay. There we go. Boom. Got them down there. Boom. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, I think that was a power-up or coin or currency or something right there. Man, I missed it. Hold on. Let's kill these guys. More. Wow, a lot of them there to the left. Need to watch out there. I am the red one, by the way, if you guys are wondering. Abigail is the green one. Oh! Oh my god, there's a lot of them there at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Get him at the top, get him at the top. Boom. Go left, go left. There you go, got him. More coins here, boom. Got it. Nice, I don't know what to do with the, uh, the coins though. Hopefully we can buy ammo or, or upgrades or so I don't know. I mean, this game seems really, really simple though. So I, I don't know what you could do with that. Oh, what is that? Was that an What the? I don't know what that was. Did I upgrade my gun or something there? I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A lot of things, a lot of things. About no, man, I got killed there. Oh, item, use item with space bar. That's what that is. Man, okay. Let's kill these guys down there. I've got that. Okay, so we, I think I have some sort of item right now. I don't know what it is, though, but kind of want to wait until we have a lot of enemies on screen and it gets pretty tough before I actually use it because I don't know how long it actually lasts, you know? Okay, there you go. Got him, got him, got him. Boom, got him. More of them there to the right. Seems like they seem to come from just one direction at a time, which is good because we can kind of... Oh, there we go. Hey, we did it. Hey, yeah, we did. All thanks to me. Yeah, and I'm not bragging or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was fun. I agree. That was pretty fun. Well, thanks, Waffle. You seem to really know your way around the joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. I'm like, I'm literally playing a video game right now. So, uh, I'm like, that was kind of weird, like video game reception right there. <laughs> playing a video game inside of a video game. There you go. And I guess we just got really good, uh, relationship points right there as well. She had that little cat, happy cat symbol above her head, just like the governor did whenever we gave him some good soup earlier, huh? So am I able to go into her bed now? Or, oh, jeez, cut that out of the video. I'm going to get demonetized and shut off YouTube. Am I able to go into her bedroom now? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's, uh, oh, yeah, we've already given her two gifts this, this week, so I can't give her another one, unfortunately. But I guess I'll casually talk to her again randomly. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? I think so as well. I'm like, it hardly rains anyways. Like, uh, if anyone would know if it rains very often, it's me, because I have to manually water every time it doesn't rain, right? Golly. Anyways, blueberry seeds, 13 days to... Oh, yeah, we can't do that, though. Yeah, see, I think earlier in the episode, I was like, yeah, people said to, to get crops like strawberries, blueberries. Oh, I don't think I said this, did I? Yeah, I don't think I said this yet, but someone said to get crops like strawberries and blueberries uh, because they'll pay for themselves a lot more, uh, a lot faster. Because I think, what did we get, 50 from each blueberry? And then we only buy the seed from each, uh, for, for 80. So if we get 50 from each blueberry, we get three blueberries per harvest. We get 150 from each harvest, which is 70 profit. And then, like, just wait a couple days and then it'll, uh, it'll yeah, it con continues to produce after the first harvest. Just wait a couple days and we can get even more blueberries. Yeah, it definitely makes sense to get stuff like this at least uh, on the first day of, of every season, whenever we have a new season. So, like, what, strawberries for spring, blueberries for summer. But I think strawberry, we have to wait until, like, a certain event to buy that, right? Like, during the flower festival or something. I forget. Uh, but I did want to buy, what was it, corn? And then we have poppies here, which I guess we can do. It takes seven days. I guess we do a few of them. I don't know how many I want to comfortably do, though. I'll do three. I'm comfortable with three. That's that's a hundred dollars each poppy. Like that's a lot. I don't know if I want to do that too often. 150 for each corn though. It lasts. Oh, it takes 14 days to mature. So yeah, like during like the second or third day of uh, fall, like these will be done. So we need to we need to make sure we still have two thousand dollars. Oh, and by the way, yeah, we sell these. So boom. There. I'm not even seeing how much money I'm getting out of this. I'm just selling it anyways. Boom, boom, boom. And then 150 from each corn. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get. Let's see how many I could buy before we hit $2,000 there on the right side. Top top right side. I could buy a couple more. I could buy one more. Okay, two, one, two, one, nine, three. I could probably sell, yeah, I, oh man, I could, I could sell my peppers and get, yeah, I'm going to do it and get one more corn. I'm going to do it. Boom. And then the hops. Yeah, we get like nothing from that. I kind of want to get that to Pam just to see what she thinks about it. But boom, another corn right there. 13 corn, three poppies. Seems like a good deal there, you guys. Parsnip soup, I'm going to keep that, though. Uh, definitely want to grow a tree sometime soon, I'll tell you that much. Just because I'm like, it costs so much to get a tree. What is it, $1,000, $2,000, I forget. Uh, but it takes like a whole season to grow, though. But it's like low maintenance. If anything, you just have to cut down nearby pests, like weeds and other trees and stuff like that, near the tree or else it won't, won't grow, right? 
so it should be relatively easy to maintain but it just takes a long time to go but we should get a lot of hopefully high value uh oh man i could have given peppers right there to penny right there man anyways let's go to you let's go to upgrade tools let's go to copper hoe let's do that or no no no, no, no. not copper hoe right watering can i put why in the world did i put the water <laughs> why did i put the watering can up man I wanted to upgrade it. I literally put it up. You've got to be kidding me. Let me go get it real quick. <laughs> oh, hey, there's Pam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hops. Thanks, kid. Well, it sounds like she liked it or at least was indifferent about it. So I guess that's good. <laughs> Anyways, let me go back. Let me go get the uh, the watering can. And uh, let's finally get that thing upgraded before the guest uh, closes at, what, 4 o'clock or something? Oh, jeez. At, like, 4 o'clock or something. <laughs> uh. And I guess uh, for the rest of the day, for the rest of the episode, we, we can go to the beach, go see what that's all about down there, see if there's any more seashells that we can forage for down there. And then uh, I guess we can end off the episode, huh? All right, I'm over here with Clint. I've got the heckin' watering can now. Let's upgrade. Boom, it's copper watering can. Let's do it, Hata. Used to water crops. It could be refilled at any water. Okay, it doesn't tell me, like, any specifics. Like, oh, like it does a three by three of watering or anything like that. But there you go, boom. Uh, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple days. So I assume a couple days means literally two days. So that would be today and then tomorrow and then the day after tomorrow should be when I get that. So next episode, we should like like towards like the second half of next episode, we should have the uh, the the copper watering can and at least we'd be able to test it out. I'm sure we do know tomorrow it stops raining, I believe. Right. So that yeah, that should work out. Right. Yeah. If it's rain today and it's rain tomorrow, and it takes two days. The day after tomorrow, we should get it back. Yeah. Even if it's still sunny the day after tomorrow we should be able to still uh, water our crops. So I, I think we have a pretty good setup right now, you guys. That's good. Anyways, let me put, uh, there you go, put bait inside of that. I guess we'll go down here and forage for any, uh, like, oh man, rainbow shell, perfect. This is why I came down here, nice. Uh, it's just a regular one, though, not a, not the gold or anything like that, which kind of sucks, but at least we got something good there, right? And maybe, yeah, you know what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll fish as well. I, I forget, I don't know if it's fishing is better during the rain or worse during the rain, but maybe I'll fish anyways, just because I'm like, what else am I going to do, right? Uh, so let's get, there you go, get more coral. And yeah, I definitely want to keep my eyes peeled for any, uh, oh yeah, this guy, yeah, that guy's here now, yeah. I guess I could have talked to him whenever I had like $4,000 or something like that, but I'm sure $4,000 still isn't enough for the amulet that he wants to sell us, right? That like marriage amulet or something like that, right? So, anyways, uh, oh yeah, we still have that other, uh, crab can, crab pot that we have to put over here. We have to put bait inside of that too, so let's go do that real quick. Man, I just ran over some worms too, how did I not know that? The Oh, we got some clay. Okay, whatever. At least I checked it before it got a bunch of comments telling me I missed some worms. I'm like, oh, I, I, apparently I didn't miss any worms last episode. Apparently. So I'm kind of proud of that. I kind of want to keep that streak up, you know? <laughs> so, uh, do we have any uh, any whirlpool? No, no whirlpools around here. So I, I guess, I'm like, yeah, we do have full energy right now. I guess I'll just go fishing for not the rest of the day necessarily because I still need to, to plant those. Oh, whoops. Man. Still need to plant the, uh, the corn and the... There we go. And the poppies, right? So don't want to forget about that, but I'll, I'll fish for, for a little while. And oh yeah, didn't I, uh, oh, there, oh wow, got a hit, nice. Yeah, you know what? It's been a while since we got a, uh, like a treasure, oh man, like a treasure chest, right? So hopefully we actually get one of those here pretty soon. We actually get something good out of that, right? Oh, whoa, what is that? A red snapper, a 24 inch, wow, that's two feet long. Golly, that's crazy. All right, let's get ourselves an upwatch. I'm gonna get people, oh, whoa. Oh, my, whoa, this is a crazy fish right here. I'm probably going to get people in the comments saying, oh, red snapper, that's 24 inches, that's nothing. I caught a red snapper that was two miles long. Oh, what in the world's that? Oh, red mullet. Nice. Seems like we can catch a lot of red fish right here by this rock right here. What if this rock, for some reason, just attracts red fish in particular? Oh, hopefully. Oh, man, I missed up a perfect right there. Golly. Oh, what is it? What's it going to be? Oh, nice. That was another red snapper, not another 24 inch. Apparently, it's not even my record. Apparently, I caught a bigger one than that. Golly. Let's keep it. Wow. Yeah, see, look, look at how often we're getting stuff here, you guys. It's cool. Wow. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, my. It bounced. It bounced at the bottom. It went right back up, man. Ah. And then there's Willie right there. Oh, oh. Yeah, so at least we're getting a lot of hits right here. So, if anything, we'll have to wait a while. And it, I guess it does pause the game in the background. Willie's, like, walking, but he, like, isn't moving. I got a perfect right there. Nice. Another red snapper of home, 20 inch. Lip. I guess Willie doesn't want to fish because it's raining, so I guess, I don't know, more fish for me, huh? <laughs> what is this going to be? Anything here? Nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, Thunder lightning struck right there, right when I was getting my rod back out of the water. I thought something happened there. I thought I was catching like a giant whale or something crazy. Oh, another catch right there. Or another head, at least. Did we actually get a, uh, oh my gosh, keep it right there. Oh my gosh, just keep it right behind the fish. Yes, got it. 
Whoa, another red mullet. Whoa, and oh, what was that record? 21 inch or something like that right there? Or 27, I don't know. Either way, uh, I'll probably fish for like a... Oh, oh I missed another one right there. I don't want to. I don't want to jinx myself here, but you know we haven't caught any trash or like broken CDs or anything like that, like at all yet. So I'm not bragging. I'm not trying to jinx myself here, but well, it seems like I kind of did because I keep getting like bites or nibbles or something here, but I'm not getting any hits. Oh, there we go. Oh, what's it going to be? Ah, hopefully it's actually. Oh, whoa, we got treasure. We got treasure. Ah, oh, give me the treasure. Give me the yes. Okay, we have to spend some of the. Oh, we have to spend some of the. No, 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 we're not going to get the treasure, we're not going to get the treasure. Stay, 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 yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I risked some of the, like, the green behind the fish meter there to get that heckin' treasure chest. I better I can get it. Oh, my gosh, come on, yes. Yes, we got it, nice. Eight-inch red mullet. That's nothing, but we got ourselves. What in the, an ancient doll? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that was a weird noise I just heard right there. It was like a stomach grumbling or something crazy. I guess I'll do one more. Uh, just for curiosity's sake, I'm so confused about that ancient doll. <laughs> oh, oh, it's seaweed right there. Okay, whatever. Now we're now we're starting to catch catch trash, so I, I don't want to do that anymore. But I think the uh, the the museum is closed right now. Right? What is that? A popular red. Wait, what? What is that? Why is that purple? Is that? Where's, uh, do we have a gold star? Yeah, we do have a, no, that's a red mullet, though. Oh, yeah, we do have a red, uh, okay, so we have a gold star right there, that's 45. But this is 65 energy, 29 health, 20, okay. So the purple here, the purple star is actually better, and it, what, the community center wants it. Hold on, fish tank. What is it? Is it a, uh, quality fish bundle, or, uh... No, it's just a regular, okay, regular red snapper. I'll give it a regular one. I'm not going to give it a, uh, uh, whatever the purple star is right there. Yeah, okay. Doesn't seem like there's, like, a quality fish bundle or anything like that I need to do, but I'll give it a regular red snapper. I think we have a regular one. If not, we have a gold star right there, which I'd hate to get rid of, but... Uh, we haven't caught one before, I don't think, right? Hmm. And then we have this ancient doll right here, by the way. Can't go to Gunther, unfortunately, but, uh... I guess we can go there tomorrow. Either way, I might as well head home. Just kind of end off this episode. Go, 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 fish or uh, go, go, plant all of my uh, corn and poppies that I bought today. I got like 13 corn and like three poppies, so I got a decent amount of crops, and I still have a decent amount of energy as well. So uh, hopefully we're not going to get passed out trying to plant all these crops. Thankfully, it's raining right now, so we don't have to worry about watering these crops. All we have to do is just plant them. Uh, we do have fertilizer. Let's not forget about that. Let's let's go grab a little bit of uh, sap. Get some fertilizer. I think it's two sap to get one fertilizer, though, so we're gonna need to spend like what 32 uh, sap to get 16 fertilizer for all th or for all 16 crops that I have right now or seeds, whatever. You the dog is blocking the doorway again. <laughs> all right, let's get the uh, the there you go sap. Let's see. Oh, oh, yes, just hold it down. Okay, perfect. What I say, 32 right there. Boom. Okay, so uh, let's get where am I going? Oh, whoops. In the world crafting basic fertilizer, perfect. I can't just hold it down. I have to, okay, there you go. And 16. Boom. Okay, perfect. Uh, then there's that, and then red snapper. Why is it, like, pulsating there, though? I guess that's, like, a special thing for the purple, though. It The little purple star doesn't pulsate for anything else except for that. But it doesn't say what the purple is, though. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's kind of weird. Either way, uh, what was I doing right there? I was going to put something up, and I forgot what it was. Seaweed. I'm like, didn't we get a little bit of money out of the seaweed whenever we sold it, though? I guess we could keep that. I kind of want to keep the the purple. Oh my gosh! Lightning struck somewhere like right here. Did it strike like the sprinkler or something? Did one of the trees? I don't think any of the trees got struck right there. I think a tree did get struck in a previous episode, and we got a lot of random uh, wood and sap and stuff like that, which was really good. But I'll sell the seaweed, red mullet, gold star. Uh, I don't think we need that for the community. Yeah, we don't need that for the community center. We need that for the community center though. So I get rid of, uh, there you go, get rid of the rainbow shell, get rid of the red mullets. And I guess that's it, huh? Yeah. And, uh, let, let's go till some land over here, by the way. Uh, I guess that would be this. And I guess down here as well. Like, where else am I going to put stuff? You know, I just don't have room for anything. <laughs> I guess I put the poppies down here. So that would mean the fertilizer. One, two, three. So that would be these three. One, two, three. Okay. And then corn, I guess I have to just put that anywhere, so one, two, just put that anywhere that stuff isn't already growing, I guess, huh? What in the world? There's something already growing there? Oh, that's, oh, it's fertilized, but nothing was, 
Okay, nothing was planted there, but it was fertilized. What? Okay, interesting. I guess I put fertilizer there and completely forgot about it. But uh, we do have three more crops, so let's get that going here. And there you go, boom! All right, so, oh my gosh, a tree to my left somewhere. Just go, oh, there you go, look at that! Look at that, we just caught on camera a little bit right there. A tree got struck by lightning, got tipped over. Interesting stuff. I didn't actually physically see the tree get struck by lightning itself, but just saw it tip over right there and it become a bunch of wood branches and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. There you guys, I like that. Either way, I definitely need to end this episode off right here. We got a lot of really cool progress done this episode, especially with even more farm expansion and, and fertilizer and all that kind of stuff over here. Really proud of that. Definitely don't want to sleep on the fertilizer, you guys. We have so much of it. Like, we have speed grow here as well. We have retaining soil stuff there, too. Don't want to forget about that stuff. So, uh, especially going into... Oh, and by the way, I need to place torches inside here, too, because it's a little bit dark here. It could be a little brighter. But, you know, going into fall where we have uh, corn and stuff like that that we can grow in fall, uh, as well as, like, new crops we're going to be getting whenever fall starts here in, uh, I don't know, like, five episodes from now or something like that. Uh, definitely want to have a bunch of fertilizer going. That way all the stuff grows a little bit faster and we can get more money faster too, right? So either way, let's put up all, all the stuff, wood. I don't know what to do with that heckin' voodoo doll there. <laughs> like until tomorrow, until next episode, when we we could actually go to the museum and donate that thing, right? Because it's a little bit too late right now, unfortunately. But, uh, and then, yeah, go to the community center and give it... I don't know. Oh, we have two red, uh, gold red snappers, though. Ooh. So I could donate one of them now and I could just sell one, uh, one of them now. You know what? Let me sell one of them. Let me sell one gold. See how much money we get out of it, and then I'll be like, okay, we get the five hundred dollars out of it, huh? That that means I'm going to be keeping this one. If we get like maybe I don't know, like a hundred or something like that, then I'll, I'll donate the other one to the community center. But let's go to sleep for the night at ten thirty p.m. An actually good hour. Hey, level three fishing right there. Nice. Plus one fishing rod proficiency. Got the crab pot. That's good. Dish over the sea cooking recipe. That's good as well. But I can't do anything about that because I don't have hacking kitchen. And then, uh, fishing, 373, which means red snapper. Oh, yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah, 75, that is a big boatload of trash. Like, even the Silver Star Red Mullet, we got more than that, uh, more from that Silver Star right there than the heckin' Gold Star right there. 93 from the Silver Star Red Mullet. 112 from the Gold Star Red Mullet, though. Can't complain about that. That's good money. Then forging, we got 300 from the Rainbow Shell. Always a, a really good item to find on the beach right there. Two gold, uh, two regular corals for 80 apiece, none too shabadoo. Then, of course, we got 20 from the seaweed. Can't complain about that. For a total of $853 overnight. Nice. Slowly getting more and more money here. I love it. Anyways, uh, anything new happening today or no? Well, I guess not. Okay. Either way. Oh, it's, yeah, it's still raining today. Is it raining tomorrow, though? That's what I'm curious about. It, it, it is. Ooh, interesting. So, even if my watering can isn't done tomorrow, next episode, uh, it's still going to rain. So, that, that's good. Either way, I'll end off this episode right here, though, and I'll sell this other snapper thing over. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I don't know. I need to donate this one, but I don't know. I, this one might be worth maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to put it up over here. Someone did comment a while ago saying... I'm going to get the wood right there. Someone commented a while ago saying... Oh, whoa, jeez. I didn't think we had enough wood, but I guess we did. Uh, but someone said to get a chest for gold stuff. So I think I'm going to put this red snapper inside there just because it's got the purple. It seems it's better than gold. Uh, then I guess I'll make this gold. So I guess we'll put that in there for like rare, valuable items and stuff like that, huh? And I guess I'll, I'll just keep that there. I was about to put the voodoo doll in there, but I keep that in my inventory before I forget about it, right? But either way, I'm going to have to end this episode off right here before it hits the hour-long mark again, right? So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys, hey, look at this. All these uh, foraging crops are done as well. More hops done as well. That's great. But if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and all of our hay and wheat down here as well. That's great. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. Because I'm very excited for next episode. We're going to get the watering can upgraded. We're going to have, uh, it's going to be Friday. Yeah, today's Friday right now. I've mentioned it like last episode. Uh, but I want to buy a rare seed from the traveling merchant on Fridays and Sundays. That's going to hang out over here by the Wizard's Tower. Costs like $1,000 or something like that. But it takes like a whole month to grow. But we should get a lot of money out of it. So really want to do that. Only have a, like, like summertime where you can buy that. So we only have a limited amount of time to do that. So definitely don't want to sleep on that, you guys. Uh, some really cool stuff to look forward to here, you guys. But until next episode, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Oh.